Well, we just got home from our weekly run to Sprouts and um, the kids were helping me unload the groceries and Caleb was trying to be helpful but he pulled a whole gallon of milk off the counter and it landed with a crash and a smash on the floor. A day that starts out with spilled milk, it's just gotta go up from there, right? Well, it was me. But I was just like trying to get it, but it spilled everywhere. Was it heavy? Yeah. Yeah, it was an accident, huh? Yeah. Guys, today has already used up the bulk of my patience. <laughs> so, let's see, we went grocery shopping as a family this morning, and then we came home and you saw the spilled milk. And then, um, anyway, since then, Caleb has flushed something down the toilet. So the toilet is clogged. And also, during lunch, he, like, threw his entire bowl of macaroni and cheese, like, across the room. And then he threw his cup across the room with water. He's currently in timeout, as you can imagine. Where was I while that was all happening? In the room. Like, I'm just, like, right next to him. He's just so fast. Anyway, um, we're headed to a birthday party this afternoon for our cousin, so hopefully the day's gonna take an upturn because we could really use an upturn to our day. All right, so we're here at our cousin's birthday party and the kids are having a great time up in here. Nice, good work. Awesome. So we came here back in December with Jeremy's whole family and it was awesome. Jeremy climbed up inside and took a lot of video of it. So click up in the card and you can find out more about it. This looks pretty fun. Look at me, say cheese. Cheese. Everybody cheer for Caleb. Alright, well my nephew Luke's birthday party was a big hit. I mean, how could it not be? <laughs> there was cake and the whole amazing play space and a pinata. So yeah, they really hit the nail on the head with that one. The kids had a great time running around with their friends. Um, so now I just put Laura down for a nap, but it's kind of late for a nap, so I'm just letting the other kids sit quietly and read because they finished their school earlier. But Anyway, I'm having a little bit of a harder day today. I'm just exhausted. Like I just, I guess we've been just like running and running so much and getting so much done. And the kids' behavior has not been as stellar as it was yesterday. But this really made a difference to me. I walked out from putting Laura to bed and there was a note for me. To mom. Look what it says inside. To mom from Isaac. I'm so sorry that I did not obey you. I wish I could have done a better job. I love you, mom. For those moments when I feel like nothing's getting through, I have to remember that not only am I an imperfect human, but I'm raising imperfect humans, and that's the way it's gonna be, and that's okay. So, life's gonna be rocky. It just is, and today is gonna be a rocky day, and that's okay, we'll make it through. How many hours till daddy gets home? Okay, we're making loaded nachos for dinner. All right, it's nacho time.
Good job. Get the black olives on there, Cubby. Yeah. So nachos are my diet kryptonite. Kendra got this like uh, queso sauce for some freezer meal. I don't know which meal it is, but the nacho sauce is almost gone. So she's gonna find out soon whichever meal it is and that's gonna be gone and that's gonna be a problem. But I'm weak, like that stuff's so good. All right, I just finished giving Laura a bath and I came out and the nachos are about halfway done and I decided to add a few more toppings. Here's how it looks now. Well, we were gonna take us all to the library, but Caleb decided not to eat his dinner and he decided to throw it on the ground. So he's gonna be staying home with me and Laura. We're gonna give him baths and put them down early. So we came out to the library tonight and I got so excited about all the different books that we were looking at that I completely forgot to pull out the camera, sorry. The kids are now enjoying some electronics time. But I'll show you our loot of books that we're taking home. We checked out 48 items. There we go. So I'm really excited about some of the books. There's one called Little P by Amy Rosenthal that comes highly recommended. I'm excited to read it with the kids. So the library is only my favorite place on the planet. I'm sure I've told you guys that before, but it was so nice and relaxing to come tonight without the little kids because I could really focus on picking out the books and helping Isaac and Elise find things for their interests. So we have a really nice stash this time. I'm getting ready to drive away from the library. That's my view. I love this. All right, and I pulled into the house and check out the kids. Do you think they like their books? <laughs> Time for bed. Time for bed. Time for bed. <laughs> Time for bed. <laughs> So normally putting Caleb down is an overwhelmingly difficult task, but he's so tired tonight. I walked into his bedroom and found this. have another baby to hold and take care of and to bring another bouncy, crazy little personality into our family.